Ignore that. Okay. We're here to review one book today. A book that I thought would come out after Red Knight 7. Red Knight 7 was was done by um another former primal paper person. This is done by the creator of Willpower. Willpower also used to be a primal paper character. Vince White. Um This kind of picks up after the powers that be number two. I mean, number one. Number one. But I think it's in between the powers that be number two and number one. Because I still haven't given up hope that there's going to be a powers that be number two. They said there's going to be five issues in that. There was five issues. There is going to be five issues in this. For sure. All they'd have to do is release a few more issues of the powers that be alongside this. And they do perfect. Come on, guys. That would be that that would be what I'd want. Anyway, you you do get to see all this. You do get to see Super Team. As is. And you know I have that weird thing that it makes me happy when the cover actually happens. So um in this at the end they imply that there's an evil willpower, and I en I enjoyed that very much. I will be picking up the second one. Willpower. Fighting an evil willpower. I mean, come on. You don't get to see much of willpower in this, though. Other than the evil hand appearing at the very end. He appears once. At the beginning, but that's pretty much all. the The book itself, and he's on a screen. The book itself, though, is like assembling the super team, and you find out what happened to the missing characters. Like Red Knight, or like any of the other people that appeared in Powers to Be that weren't Lock and Key. Lock and Key is a key component to this, too. He, he is the one that assembles the team. It's cool to see him hopping through different universes, and interacting with, with them. Mom, please plug the computer in. There we go. Oh. Okay. Not gonna die on me. Anyway.
and as an independent creator myself, it gave me definite ideas when when I saw the the people being controlled here. Um, help me with the book, please. What does he want to do? On that. The villain kind of reminded me of Ultron in that way. Mom was the first to point it out. And I kind of agree that Ultron, the guy definitely had some Ultron vibes. Not saying he's a copy, I'm just saying that, that him and Ultron could have tea together. Thank you, Mom. And, and there, there would be no further yeah discussion other than they wanted to rule the world together that would be it um I think I think the evil force at the very beginning is going to outsmart the Ultron looking guy like he, he's gonna say ha ha I have tricked you all along, and there you go. That that's gonna be it. Um, I I don't think that's gonna be in Super Team Number Two. If I had to guess, it'd probably be in Number Three because we're like halfway through. But, yeah. It, it was a very awesome experience. Especially being the, that I picked up things like they call him Marvelous. And there was like Easter eggs for that in there. I very much appreciate that. Um, Vince, I, I thoroughly look forward to the next one. Thank you again. I will be sending in a question. You will find out if if I get picked. Um, take care. Be safe. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace. Bob out.